right, we have our test on percentages coming up. So if you want a way to review and go over the types of problems that are going to be on the test, be sure to follow along with the video. So the first thing you need to do is go get a piece of paper and a pencil. So pause, go take care of that. See you in a second. Okay, so when you do these problems with me, complete the problems, finish the math. So I will help you set them up. You have to finish the math. You finish the math. Then bring it back to school in the next two days and you get 10 dojo points. That's a pretty good deal. Like you're talking about a point and a half for every problem that you do. So pretty good deal. There's only six problems on here. So the first section on our test is on fractions, decimals, and percentages. So the first thing we want to do is write it as a ratio. So we can see there are two shaded in and it's not out of three, right? There's, it's out of the total. The total is five. Now we can make this into a decimal and a percent like it is if you can do some reasoning in your head. But the easiest thing we want to do is make it out of 100. Remember, percents and decimals can always go out of 100. Percents are always 100, right? Per cent per 100 is what that means. So if we know a way to get from 5 to 100, then we do the same thing to the numerator. If we're not sure of that factor, then we want to do 2 times 100 is 200. And then we're going to divide that by five. So make sure you have this math with me or set it up. If you know how to get from here to here, just do that is great. So we know it can't go in there. So how many times can it go into 20? And then finish the problem. This number right here, it's out of 100. That's your percent and it's your decimal. Move the decimal two places to the front. So I will help you finish this one. So this goes in there four times is 20. There's zero left over, bring down the zero, five goes into 20, zero times. So my percent is 40. This number right here is my percent. And then the decimal, I just move it one, two places to the front, 100 times bigger, 0 0.40. So all of these say the same thing, 40 out of 100, 40 hundredths, 40 percent per 100. All of them say the same exact thing. So our next one, we have 16 out of 25. And I notice it doesn't say I have to write it as a fraction, but we're just gonna do it because we know that's how we're going to get to 100. So even if it doesn't ask that, you just do it. So 16 out of 25, and we need to make that out of 100. Now, if we know how to get from 25 to 100, we just do it and then do the same thing to the numerator. This is like quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100, we can go 25 times four. So now we need to do 16 times four. So I'm going to let you finish 16 times four. That's your numerator out of 100, that's your decimal and your percent. Once we know that number out of 100, we know everything else. I'm gonna let you finish up that problem there. The next section on our test is setting up percentage problems. Every time the is, this is the part, out of the total. This is the part out of the total. Here's our percent out of 100. Every single time we're using this exact same formula to set up our problem. So we're going to read what is 40% of 60. So let's come and circle our percentage. So we have 40%, 40, let's see there are, and it's out of 100 every time. Of 60, what is out of 60? of is our total. It's out of 60. So if we know how to get from 60 to 100, which there's not a friendly way, so we want to go ahead and do 40 times 60. So you need to do that math. I'm going to have you do 40 times 60, which is really 6 times 4, and add two zeros, and then we divide that by 100 to get our answer here. Out of 60, what is that? It was just 40%. So set it up using this formula, crisscross divide, divide by 100 will get you that part right there. Okay, our next one looks a little bit different, but it's the same process. So it says we don't know the percent. We're looking for the percent, but we know it's out of 100 still. 
of 90, of 90, goes on the bottom, that's the total. The total is 90. And equals is the same thing as is. It is 54, it equals 54. Is goes on the top. If you have 54 out of 90, what percent is that? We're looking for that blank right there. So if we do 54 times 100, and then divide it by 90, we'll find our percent. So every time is of percent 100. Let's so make sure you crisscross times and divided, crisscross times and divide to find those two answers. Okay, and our last section is just about story problems. And again, it is using that same formula is of, we need to find the percent, it's always out of 100. So this one tells us that Micah got 21 questions on her test correct. So 21 were correct. She got 84%. So this 21 questions got her 84. These are the same. They should be matched up. This is what she has. How many questions were on the test total? We're looking for that total. I know it doesn't say that word. We just have to infer. How many questions were on the whole entire test is the total. We're looking for the total. 21 is what she has, and 21 gives her 84% out of 100. So once we have it set up, we do the same thing. If we have a nice way, you know how to get from 21 to 84. You can just do that. If you're not sure what that is, we want to do 21 times 100, and then we'll divide it by 84. So we have 21 with two zeros, 2100, and dividing it by 84. So I need four numbers up here. Can't go into two, can't go into one. So you need to see how many times 84 can go into 210. And then finish the problem there. So you should have two numbers as your answer for how many questions are on the test. And she did pretty well on the test, 84%. So there shouldn't be too many more questions that she missed. So this should be a number in the 20s, a little bit bigger than 21. Okay, our next questions, make sure you, sorry, make sure you've answered that. You have to do the math. So this last one says there are 60 people attending a class. So 60 people at the class. That's the total. That's how many people are at the class. We're going to set up our problem. 60 people at the class. 48% of those people are over the age of 25. So 48 are over 25. So we know there's 48 people out of 60 that are over 25. What percent? We're looking for that percent, but we know the percents out of 100 of the people are younger than 25. So it doesn't just say how many people are under 25. I know there's 12 people because 12 plus 48 is 60. But I need to find the percent of people younger than 25. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to find the percent of people that are over 25. So I need to do 48 times 100. And I'm going to divide that by 60 and get the answer. And this is over 25. So whatever this number is here, we need to do 100 minus the people over 25. I'm going to have you do that. And that will tell us the people that are younger than 25. So the people that are younger than 25 is going to be the answer to this problem right here. So first we need to know the percent of people over 25. Then we can take it away from 100 because this number and this number of the people over and under should equal 100. So make sure you're reading those questions carefully to see what is it asking you to find. So be sure to finish up that math, bring it back to me in the next two days, and you got yourself 10 dojo points.